Hello, and welcome to Bray Plays Metro 2033. Um, I decided to let's play this game because it's a really great game, and I had a lot of fun playing it um, when I was playing it by myself. Um, so, without any further ado, let's jump into the game, shall we? Yes. So, I think, uh, we're gonna do it on normal, um, because I'm not MLG or anything, and, uh, I don't want to make it too boring for any of you guys, um, because if I make it anything other than normal, the only thing you'll be seeing is my death all over and over and over again, so... We are trying to avoid that and by going to normal. So let's let's continue here. The tunnel grew colder. Millie and I were close to the surface now. Soon, we'd climb up into the howling wind to find our way through whatever nightmares were waiting there. My long journey was nearly at the end. But would I have the courage, the will to see it through? I really like how it it does that before every level, so so it really gets you immersed in the storyline while you're waiting for your game to load. Um, if you're if you're looking for a game that shows you how to do the storyline or you want to get more to know this game, this isn't. I'm probably gonna be talking like this a lot at times. We'll have to get through the military out of course, if it's important, then I'll, um, then I'll, <laughs> won't <laughs> talk, but... Something's moving in the next room. Open the gate, I'll come. Shit is always breaking down in here. Use the auxiliary hand system to open the So basically in this game, you're Russian. Alright, so, Check those crates for at the start, you're pretty badass. Ready, Artyom? Um, Follow me. And it's it's a post-apocalyptic, uh, post-apocalyptic game where um, okay. the world's Up we go. has some nuclear battle or something like that, and people migrate to the subway. It's really quite interesting storyline, and really Sounds original. Like I mean, Call of Duty and Before stuff like that. I mean, they're point and shoot. But this one kind of gets you immersed in the storyline and gets you to really love campaigns and uh, you know in games because a lot of people these days they don't um, play the campaigns anymore they just jump straight to online but I think this game if you you know if you buy it it'll really it really you'll really appreciate the storyline in a game much more than you normally would. Um, I actually got this game because of the Humble Bundle. It was, you know, picked it up, picked up a bunch of games for five dollars because it was charity. And um, let's give it a pull. You know, I donated a lot of money, or well, five bucks to charity, and um, you know, I hope they could have used it, but I got some games out of it, and uh, I think they might have been expecting for more money out of me, but I don't have a lot of money to give away, so you know, it's almost like the honor system kind of deal. They expect you to pay. You, you know, you only have to pay. You know, five dollars or whatever. But they want you to pay more than that. Set of generosity. Let's go. The other should already be here. Oh. Yeah, my game does that some. Well, only when I start it up. 
It's kind of annoying. You press shift and it comes up. They have the tunes going. Can't have a pop apocalyptic wasteland without some music. I don't know where I'd be without music, and I'm not in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Did you hear that? Listen. What the hell is it? It's kind of a really cheesy cutscene, but I think it does its job. I mean, look at all these these cat. Rat things or whatever they are. Okay, okay. Just sort of run it's by. It's a very great game, and I, I'd recommend any anybody I know and even to those I don't know although it is quite hectic and there are oh there are some parts that absolutely make me jump <laughs> because there's just some unexpected parts that you that you don't want to see coming and I suppose you'll find out soon if you if you keep watching. But here we go, another Life product. Life was never easy in the tunnels, but it was our home. There was comfort in its routines, in seeing the same people day after day. But since the mutant attacks had escalated, fear ruled the station. I had just turned 20, and could never have imagined what would follow on the morning that my stepfather's friend Hunter arrived at the barricade. Again with the nice prologue, um, just makes the game more interesting. Oh. So this is a picture of some clock tower somewhere. I have no idea where. This guy has a bunch of postcards or pictures of the world before the apocalypse. It's probably good that they keep knowing on what these things look like. Artyom, <laughs> wake at last, I see. Hunter's on his way in. He should have news from the other stations. Come on. All right. So you can interact with things. You can. There's a stealth element in this game where you can turn off and on the lights. Um, you can play guitar. And turn off and on lights again. Very nice. Very nice. Everything looks very nice too. Um, Let's go, Artyom. Everything flows together. I've been through worse, and I'm not I mean, this this looks very good for yes, Nikolai. for this game. What more can we do? And the details really good too. I mean, look, that guy has blood on his shirt. Dark ones will kill us all. And they and they talk. Well, I suppose a lot of video game characters talk, but, you know, you walk by them and they talk, and just, just adds sort of a panic aspect to this game. Just everything going on at once. See, look, 
Doctor hasn't said anything. They're talking, they're just saying random stuff. That's depth, for sure. Um, alright. How are the wounded? Uh, not much improvement. Two died so morning. here looks like a zombie. The dark ones do not kill outright. I never actually noticed this guy when I played. <laughs> Blue eyes and... But I think they, they were attacked by things called the Dark Ones, and, and what they are... Well, y you'll find out um, later on. They're sort of the, the main bad guy within the story. Can't, I can't get it. Uh, I, I can't, I, I can't reach. Oh, this no. guy. I thought it was this guy that was talking. So that's how they get you through fear. Anyway, I think I'm going to stop right here um, for the next episode. So thanks for watching and seeing episode two.